Hey guys, John Wise here, back with another comic again. Blast from the past, cool, rad, awesome, totally Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy review. This time I'm going to do Krang, but instead of reviewing Krang as an individual figure, I'm going to do Krang as an May individual character. Now, Krang in the line, in the original 1980s Ninja Turtle toy line, had three action figures based on uh, his appearance in the animated series. The first figure was the one that most everybody was familiar with, and everyone had for the most part, was Krang in his bubble robot body. The other one was more based on his... Uh, animated appearance when he was in his uh, robot body and then there was a third one which I do not have unfortunately because of how pricey he is but I believe but I believe it stood at uh, 12 inches tall and it was another massive crane figure based on this figure right here it e even fit this crane inside that body and it was it's pretty cool I really wish I had it but instead I'm gonna go ahead and review these two figures starting with the first the original crane in the bubble robot body so let's remove this crane for now okay so this crane uh, as you can see uh, is based on his first original appearance in that little turtle miniseries and the occasional appearance throughout the series uh, in the little robot here. And uh, let's go ahead and Crane came with some accessories here. You'll see his arms, which are detachable. You actually, when you got them out of the package, they were detachable. You had to plug them into the sockets here. Uh, he also came with a gun. And there was a wire that was attached to the gun, and then underneath the body here, I thought I had that wire. I guess I don't. So this crane is almost complete. And then the gun would fit in any any body part, in any of the two hands. So that's kind of cool. The body itself, the robot body itself, had a little breather here, or perhaps that's where he, the uh, he talked out of. Um, the legs on the on the uh, robot themselves do move. Uh, this part does not move. These move, and these move backwards and forwards. That's about it. That's all the articulation we're going to get out of the robot. And of course, when you plug the arms in, they go up and down. Uh, the back has little non-painted details such as jets and stuff like that, little tubes so he can breathe when he's inside the bubble and there's not a whole lot to the bottom. Now we take the top here and we just do that and look at this crane is removable so we'll just set that aside over here and it's kinda like getting two figures in one. So this crane uh, of course is gonna have very little articulation but his tentacles do move uh, the paint on them is that paint that like he is from the animated series except this one has more details as far as vine veins go uh, I mentioned the 12 inch uh, Android body crane it featured the same action figure except it didn't have the blue lines so it was more true to the animated series and that just goes all the way around you got the big uh, I guess brain cranium piece here and then for some reason he has a hole um, I say for some reason because you would find out later that this would fit inside the technodrome and it'd be like a little crane stand but I didn't know that as a kid I just stick him on my pinky and I'd spin him of course my pinky was a lot thinner then and he spun a lot better so but that is the first crane figure so I'm gonna put him back in his little bubble body. Shredder! Why haven't you completed my new body? Ah, oh, but I have. Excellent. <laughs> you may feel some 
disorientation when you revive in your new body. It's alive. Now we go with what is not the second, but the third crane figure. The 12 inch crane figure uh, is actually ba is uh, was before this one. This one is based on the bigger crane figure. Um, I often wondered why they had two sizes of the same figure. Then I recall the original miniseries where Crane got this body, and this body grew into a much larger version. So that was kind of cool that you could, if you had both figures, you can actually have the uh, growing option of you know the figure. Um, and again, I'm talking about the other one so much. It's just, I really wish I had that figure, uh, but it's so pricey, especially to find it complete. And the little glass piece in that is the hardest to get with the figure because it's always been lost or broke. But on this figure, we'll go ahead and I'll go over the uh, artic articulation and details here. First off, we have the head that moves left to right. Arms go forward and backwards. The wrists move. Uh, the legs are not on the typical ball, ball joint like they normally would be. They just move awkwardly out like that so you can have them sitting in a baby pose <laughs> sitting down. Um, and regardless of what it looks like, the knees, there is no bend at the knees. Okay. And he did come with some pretty neat accessories. Now he is almost complete. I'm missing an accessory. I'm not exactly sure um, which one I'm missing. I think it's a drill. I think it's a drill. Um, what, hap what you do have here is you have these little pieces here. This is a little laser gun. And it just goes over, I think it works better on his right arm, his right hand. And you just plug this in like so on the figure. It clips on there, there we go. And then he has a little gun. Like his hand, like in the anime series, his hands turn into different weapons and different things. That's what these are supposed to represent. Uh, and then the other one, he has the little communicator. And again, that just straps to his wrist. There we go. Okay. And if you turn it the other way, you can actually use it to talk to Shredder. Now his other accessory is pretty cool. Check this out. It's the a mini vised version of Krang's tiny bubble robot body. I will say the arms do not move, nor do the legs. But you notice a little open spot here. There's a reason for that. Check this out. We'll just uh, put this right back here for now. See this? This actually opens to reveal a crane you can take out. <laughs> a little mini crane. Uh, he has no articulation, but you can put him on here and then you have a little mini crane. <laughs> How cool is that? And you'll notice it's the crane that's better, more true to the uh, animated series where he doesn't have the veins. Uh, it's supposed to replicate more of the crane, like I said, from the 12-inch version. Um, so you can use them as a shrinking, growing type feature. So, all right. Well, there we go. We've got two different crane figures here. Uh, these were some really cool figures. Uh, crane was actually the uh, second Ninja Turtle figure I ever got. Uh, the first one uh, was Raphael. So it was really cool when I ordered him off eBay to have him again. Uh, I actually won this crane on a uh, a raffle on eBay on Facebook. So that was pretty cool raffle because I I think um, he this one goes for see he goes for quite a bit. I think he's like close to about eighty dollars eighty or ninety dollars on eBay, and I paid five bucks for him. That's it. I spent five dollars on a raffle and won. So. Yay me. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure you're hitting the, uh, the like and subscribe button to come again 
please share your comments below on all the Ninja Turtle figure reviews that have been done and um, any other any of the other reviews such as uh, the Funko Pops and um, thanks for tuning in catch you again